Hello everybody, with this video we're going to show you how you can point your domain to point to a digital ocean name service. This is a help video for the easy setup process which includes pointing a domain to, uh, to digital ocean. So let's start. I will share my screen with you and I will share my uh, browser. So this is documentation for the easy setup, easy web setup and here we have a guide on how you can connect your domain to DigitalOcean. And please read this. Maybe your uh, name register is already included in the tutorial from, uh, uh, from DigitalOcean. So they have a few examples on how you can point your domain to, to their name servers. And my domain, my example is uh, I use Digital, uh, I use GoDaddy. So here is my domain, upbuilder.online, that right now by default points to uh, to go to the name servers and I need to change that. If I go to my builder page domain in domain settings, I need to click on manage DNS. And here what I see is something like this. Here I can manage the records, but what I need to do is change the name service. And this is explained also here. What I need to do is go to my digital ocean and as you can see I have one droplet that works on some IP address, and I, go, I should go to networking to add my domain. So my domain is up builder.online. And I will add this domain. And now DigitalOcean lets me know that I need to, to have these NS records for my domain. Also here, they explain how you need to point. So these are the same values. So I need to copy this and use a custom name server. So I need to go here and click on change and use a custom name server. So I'll put here ns1.digitalocean.com, ns2.digitalocean.com, and I will add another name server, which is ns3.digitalocean.com. As you can see, the values are same here. So I will add that and click on save. And now my domain points to DigitalOcean name server. And it will take some time, the domain to start working with uh, the new name server. As you can see, if I refresh now, a builder that online will continue work on digit on GoDaddy page. What I need to do next is create a, a record that points to my, uh, to my droplet. And if I click create records, I will have it. And after some time when I refresh it or try it in another browser, I should be able to I will uh, I should be able to see my instance there. Let's try this. Anyway, you should wait some time and it will start working for you. In general, this was the process and it's really simple to use, simple to set up your name servers, and it's all explained in the documentation of Digital ocean, which is this is also really important step in order to have a success, successful setup. Thanks for watching.